Hi folks, Matthew here from Disaster Area Designs and Alexander Pedals. Today we're going to be covering one of the cool new features of the DMC Micro Pro and DMC Micro Classic once it's been updated to version 2.0 firmware. And that feature is custom devices. So on our left we have the new Alexander Pedals Syntax Error 2. This is a really cool bit crushing, sample glitching, noise making machine. It's awesome, it's got a bunch of presets, it's got MIDI capabilities, it has all this stuff, but we don't have a device set up in the DMC Micro Pro specifically designed to control it. That's okay. What we do have are the custom one and custom two devices. These are special device drivers that allow you to configure the parameters on the DMC Micro to control basically anything. So what we're gonna to do today is we're going to go over how you set up a custom device on the DMC Micro or Micro Pro to control some new MIDI device, something you just got or maybe something old that just isn't supported. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna set the Syntax Error 2 up to receive MIDI on its multi-jack port, which is this port back here. So to enter the setup menu, hold the mode button, and then it says press foot switch to select and we want setup, so we'll hold setup. And now we'll see M jack is set to expression. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn the value knob, the data knob, until this says MIDI. And then we're gonna click down to channel and we're gonna make sure this is set to one. And then we're gonna hold this to save. Done, now that's set to MIDI. Now, we're gonna go into the DMC Micro and we're just gonna hold both foot switches. We're gonna to go to Setup. We're gonna get out of the factory reset here and we're gonna to go to Devices, Dev A, Device A is Timeline. Well, that's fine, but we don't have a timeline, we have something else. If we set this to Alexander, this will give us the right controls, but it'll only allow us to access 16 presets because the Neo series, the previous Alexander pedals, only had 16. The Syntax Error 2 has 32, so we need more. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to the multi-jack here, and we're gonna set that to, instead of expression, we're gonna set it to MIDI tip. And we can leave the jack channel as all these, that's fine. And then here, under device A, we're gonna change that from timeline to custom one. Custom one, you guys see that? Cool. All right now, as we move through here, we'll have a bunch of extra things. Custom one min, custom one max, custom one bypass, custom one tap, custom one expression, custom one display. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna configure those. So. Get out the manual for your device and let's figure out what we need. Custom one min is the lowest preset number the device will accept. Most of the time that's zero. Some devices might be labeled as say one to 99 or one to 16. Set this to zero. If the first preset they take is one, set this to zero. Custom one max, this is the highest preset they'll accept. The syntax error goes from one to 32. What that is in the real world is zero to 31. So we're gonna set this to 31. Thirty-one. Okay. Custom one bypass, 102. So this is the MIDI control number for bypass. So look in your manual and it'll tell you MIDI CC 81 or 16 or 23 or 102. Just put that in here. Custom one tap, 93. The Syntax Error 2 doesn't have tap tempo per se. It does have the sequencer control, but it doesn't do tap. So you can leave this as whatever. If your device does have tap, make sure you put it in here. And then custom one expression, that's the MIDI CC number for the expression pedal control for whatever your device is. For the Syntax Error 2, that's 100. This is the same for Chase Bliss and Strymon and the other Alexander pedals. And then display. So this is how the unit will display, how the DMC will display the preset numbers. If you leave this as zero to 127, then 
the first preset will be zero and the last one will be whatever it is you put in. Well, the syntax error two labels its presets from one to 32. So we're gonna set this from one to 128, if that makes sense. So what this does is it just applies an offset for the display purposes only, just to make sure that these two match up. Okay, and then everything else is just normal. So we'll save this. And now, if we go to device A, you can see it now says custom one, channel one, A001. If we go up, it goes up. If we go down, it goes down. And then when we get to the lowest preset, or the highest preset, it says 32. So it goes from one to 32. And I'll make this work. We just make sure that our dip switches on the back are set to MIDI, which is all up, 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 up. Connect a quarter inch patch cable. Mono is fine between the two units. And now you'll see that they match up. So one to one, two to two, three to three, four to four. And then when we get to eight, which is the last one that we actually have in, in the memory, we get to nine, these are all the blank presets, the upper presets that aren't normally accessible. So here you go, here's all 32 of your Syntax Era 2 presets and bypass works. And if we had an expression pedal connected, we'd have to use the MIDI out, but the expression pedal also works. So there you go. So to reiterate, set up a device as custom one or custom two, and that will unlock the custom one and custom two menu parameters in the DMC Micro Pro. Go into the menus and set your lowest and highest presets, your MIDI controls for bypass, tap, and expression, and then choose your display style so that the two units will match up what's on their displays. It's not strictly necessary, but it really helps when you're trying to figure out what's going on. Save and exit, and that's it. Custom one and custom two are great ways to implement devices that aren't yet supported or oddball devices that we'll probably never support. If you've got any questions or comments, about this video or other quick tips videos you'd like to see from us in the future, please post them below. Thanks for watching.